Independent films include The Fisher King, one of my all-time favorite movies, Good Will Hunting, Insomnia. His latest film is called RV, getting back to his comedy roots. Very funny comedy. It opens everywhere Friday. Please welcome the one, the only, Robin Williams, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to be back on your show. Nice to have you, Robin Lund. With a new hair, I decided to change voices too. <laughs> now what, what is, you know, I didn't want to say anything when you came in. You thought, <laughs> trying to look young. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh. And trying... the silver fox looks at the red-haired boy. <laughs> right, right, right. But I don't remember you, and with red hair, and I hadn't seen you while yeah, I was went. Like going, what's wrong? I'm just trying to change. <laughs> right, right. So I didn't want to do the full Donald Trump comb over. Oh, yeah, I knew that one. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel like his hair at night must go, I'm out of here, man, I gotta go. <laughs> Now, why is it red? Is this for a part? It was for a movie. <laughs> Are you playing Lucy? What is the part for? That is... Ricky! I would love that, but no, this is... I was playing uh, Teddy Roosevelt in uh, actually a wax figure of Teddy Roosevelt that comes to life oh. in a movie called Night at the Museum. But oh, okay. That's why he had red hair, and people don't remember him having red hair, but most of the photographs are in black and white. Yeah, so. I thought he had black and white hair. Yeah, and there's, See, only one, yeah. there's only one old movie of him basically walking around like, you know, like... <laughs> That's all they saw. Let me ask you, how's the, how's the family doing? Good? Everybody Wonderful. good? Wonderful. Really great. My, uh, my son just had a birthday. Okay. Zach's 23. Zelda's... <laughs> yeah. Zelda's how old is she? She should be nine? No, she's like 16. 16, she? but thank you. 16. 16. Now, is she dating yet? How's that going? She has a, a friend, as we say. A friend? Oh, no, no, tell me. A friend, me. I mean... Uh, I, I now, how speak. old is he? Is he married? How old is he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Williams, what are you crazy? I'm 35. I love your daughter. <laughs> I have many houses. She can live in one. Uh, she visit her. Well, it's crazy. It's all Italian custom. Don't be afraid. No, no. Is, is he older? He's uh, somewhat older, yes. Some, oh, really? In college, yes. Uh, in college? Yes. And, I think uh, that's called jail time. <laughs> if they cross that line. Right. Okay. Now, do you but scream thanks to this new device. Oh, yo, really? <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you screen the... I mean, no, I don't the screen boys it. have yeah. to come to the house and meet you and all Would that? Would you mind and... filling this vial with blood before we talk? Uh, yeah. No, I, in it, there is a kind of a hypocritical thing, too, because yeah. my other son, being 14, you know, it's kind of like when Zachary was dating, it was like, yeah, way to go, yeah. And then the daughter, shh. Daughter, <laughs> son, yeah. Yeah, you know, see. It's like, and you have to realize, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the wife going, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a double standard. Yeah, very. And you have to kind of recognize that and go, put away the male ego. Yeah. You well, know, when I was your age, I was not as lucky as you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you have to kind of set boundaries. But, you know, they're all yeah. very, yeah. very good about who they're with. And well, very, that's good. And I'm protective of that, too. Now, is she driving? I know you live in San Francisco. Does yeah, she, drive she took yet? driving courses, and uh, I think she hasn't got her license yet. But You didn't teach her? Oh, Did... that'd be great. Yeah, I don't, yeah you're, not the, you're not the best. What? Though. What? Yeah. Teaching, yeah, I'm not very good. In a car, I'm... There's no, a... you're the same way in a car as you are here. No, 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 no. Exactly, exactly. Even the car's going, that's it, I'm out of here, come on. <laughs> I know, I, I, I'm, I, in a car is the only time I can ever really get angry, and that's because the windows are up. Right, yeah. And one time the windows were down, and my son went, they heard you. <laughs> hey, move it! Move it, you old bang! <laughs> I don't care if you're a nun. Get across the street! <laughs> it's who you like, like that, that, like that Donald Duck. You become a different oh, person. Yeah, you yeah, you're a different person behind the wheel. It's a frightening transformation. Yeah, but then I also realized that I drive slow, so my wife's yeah. going, "Congratulations!" People are behind me going. <laughs> and if you look at most cars now, you can't tell if they're yelling at you or they're on the phone. I know. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're like. <laughs> it's like well, well, you know what? You know what happens sometimes because of this job. I'll look and I'll see people like this. So I'll go, hi, and they go, and you realize, oh, they're on the <laughs> bus, but they're smiling at whoever, and they yeah, think, no, oh, the like a going. creepy guy is healing on the me. The creepy man's waving at Nicole. <laughs> now, Cody is, is how old now? He's 14. Okay, okay, that's right, you mentioned he's, that. Yeah, no. he's kind so of So what's like, he into? Oh, everything. Yeah, it's like yeah. bizarre. I mean, uh, he's, that you walk into his room, and all of a sudden, two computers are on. They have uh, a game, homework, multitasking, many screens right. are going on. Plus, he's got one. Well, he's on the phone with another friend. He's typing. He's dialing away. And I walk in, and I feel, I like, I feel like Rain Man going, that's a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
And he's like, whoa, I'll be right with you, Father. One second, Dad. <laughs> Old man. <laughs> Even Stephen Hawking's going, the child seems to be doing quite well. <laughs> Now, the, the president is here in California this week. He was up in where I, I have a, a ranch up there, like a, a vineyard up there. And right. he was up I've in been to your vineyard. It's yes, a beautiful vineyard. It's a lovely vineyard. Yes, yes. A lovely comic wine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it goes with pretty much anything. He was up in uh, Napa and, right, uh, right. At, this, at this resort, and the whole town was out demonstrating. So I, I, wonder, I don't think it was a quiet R&R &R <laughs> no, weekend. No. Yeah, oh, no. now I'm trying to putt. <laughs> And he met with uh, Arnold. Arnold. So I'm talking about uh, no, basically alternative fuel sources, most likely. <laughs> Maybe ethanol, which I found out is basically, uh, you know, wood grain alcohol, which right. is uh, what people used to brew up in the hills. You know, they all just stale. <laughs> they were using ethanol. We didn't put it in the car, though. We just drank it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it'd be good. Your car's going to burn faster, but occasionally it'll just go off the road and go, I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Please get out of the car. It's not me that's drinking. The car's drunk, man. <laughs> it's drinking pure wood grain alcohol. I have some alternative fuel sources. I was thinking of, and they always talk about um, yeah. hydrogen, which right. is one idea, which is great. I have one word for you, Hindenburg. Right, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boom! Well, smoke, rear end, bam, it's gone, thank you. <laughs> helium would be good if you had a helium-powered car. You'd know if there's a gas leak, because all of a sudden you'd be like this. Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly. yeah. Hey, hey, you bastard, you rear-ended me. <laughs> I can't believe it's gone red. It's not good. <laughs> Or the Ford LiPo, which you would power off yourself, you know, just to oh, just suck, suck it, yeah. the fat off you. Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it? just a couple of fat kids, you can go 10 miles. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, have you heard the latest Osama tape? Have you heard the... Uh... Oh, no, Osama Unplugged. Yeah, the newest one, yeah, yeah. It's... That's the one I'm hoping to hear, the one he yeah. finally unplugs. <laughs> No, I haven't heard the new ones, the, the, him basically inciting the whole world to, to well, come out. He and... talks about, you know, Tom and Katie's baby. I mean, some of it, it's more, yeah. more pop culture. Why could you not name the baby Osama? <laughs> right. That would be a great, tough name to give a kid right now. What's your name? Osama. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Oops. Yeah, that would be a... Well, Gwyneth Paltrow named a baby Moses, which means every so often he has to go to Israel and go, okay, everybody out of the water. <laughs> well, it's a tough name to give a kid. A you know, tough. It's like if you name your kid Attila. Right. He's going to be tough at recess. Right, right. This guy, you can't. Dear Mrs. Attila, your son organizes the other and has conquered three schools. <laughs> you know, it's rough, rough name. <laughs> Toulouse. These names are the names you stay away with. You know, Adolf. Adolf is a bad one. Well, if combined with Hitler, it doesn't work. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but as a steak sauce, it's as not a, bad. Yeah, well, Adolf's, right, yeah. Exactly. Well, Hitler as a break. steak sauce is a rough one. No, the, you don't want Hitler's steak no, sauce. Hitler's steak sauce. Walk with ramen right after this. Be right back. Thanks, man. Well, you know, you know, Tom and Katie obviously had a baby. You yes, know, they did. Podcast. They had uh, a baby named Suri. Suri, that's right. Suri. 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 No, what? No, sorry. No, Suri. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, it means uh, Jewish princess, I think, in Hebrew. Or ah, Hebrew. which is a traditional Scientology name, then. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Meshuggi is a crazy name, too. <laughs> now, are you into that whole silent birth thing? Do you understand? Um, I'm not particularly into silent birth. I right. think uh, the idea of a silent birth is like, you know, the slow circumcision. Not good. Yeah, I, yeah. So, <laughs> It's sort of like a silent conception. You silent don't want conception, that either. No, no. No. A little noise would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you moved. Hey. <laughs> or at least put the book down. That's yeah, put what the I book said. down. Yeah. Go, oh, great. I, I'm, I, you can't see the TV? Okay. <laughs> but silent birth, there must be. I, mean, it, but I, but I guess she was allowed to actually, you know, oh, express. I, right. I think everybody else in the room is. <laughs> and then she's like, yes! Oh! Wow! Whoa! The baby's gone. Okay. Now, Brooke Shields had her baby in the same hospital same, same hospital. day. I don't think that was a quiet one. I think yeah. she was in the medicated ward. Whatever! <laughs> He's like, yeah! Woohoo! Pop! Yeah! <laughs> There's a baby! Yay! Now, now, with an epidural, pretty much it's like, what's going on? It's like a magic show. Yeah. What? 
My son was born uh, cesarean because he was so big, and all of a sudden the doctor puts up a little tent, and it was like. <laughs> 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 it's like, whoa! There's no that eight-hour labor, and you know, yeah. as Bobcat Galthway calls it, coming through the Play-Doh fun factory of life. You know? yeah, right. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Even the kids going, can I scream? I can't be quiet. The baby, shh, quiet the baby. No! This is my first breath. And even the baby went, are you Tom Cruise? <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh. You're my dad. Wow. <laughs> now, now, I want to talk. Now, RV, your first comedy in a while. Yeah, in a, in a long time. But yeah, yeah, it was fun doing. Looks like it was oh, fun. It was a blast. It was yeah, like a paid yeah. vacation. We're shooting all over the place. Uh, we shot in Canada, and I, of course, I get a big. <laughs> Welcome, Canadian brothers. Nice to have you here, eh? Now, we shot at the same yeah. lake where they did Brokeback Mountain. We just did different scenes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. More of a family. More of the family it's incest. Movie. Family yeah. movie, yeah. I can't quit you. <laughs> I kind of think of John Wayne going, well, you know, I can't quit you, Corky. <laughs> now, now, tell us what your, your character has, like, a midlife crisis. He wants to bring the family together. He basically, he uses that... He, says he wants to do that, right, and, but right. in reality, he's trying to conduct business at the same time as a family vacation. Right, right. Because his boss wants him at this place in Colorado. He was supposed to take a vacation to Hawaii. The whole right. family was into that. He's going, no, we'll have a together time in an RV, and we'll go to Colorado, and it'll be quality time together. Right, now, here's the scene. What is it? I like the big rent me on the, oh, side, the, of the uh, on side of and the on the side of the RV. And that's the director's picture, too. That's okay, Barry Sonnenfeld. So you've just, you've just rented the RV. It's your right. first... You've just picked up the family. Yeah, just go pick on up the, the family, put them in the RV, we're just leaving the driveway. Right, let's take a look. Here we go. Make it so, number one. Uh, honey, are you, are you sure you know how to... Trust honey? me, okay? Oh! Thanks. Oh, my God. Honey? Uh, honey? Honey?